Hi guys, welcome back. My name's Stu and this is Scenario 1, Episode 6 of Barren Desert. We need to make 10 roller coasters over 6 excitement. In Part 1, we built the Wooden Wild Mine Ride. Part 2, we built the Junior Coaster. Part 3, the Mini Coaster. Part 4, we built this Stand Up Twister and we left some loops down here for us to interact um with the bike coasters and the steeplechase that we built in part five part six then let's have a look what roller coasters we've got we're on the edge of a huge toxic lake um so let's see okay so i'm thinking of finishing on a big crazy hyper coaster around the outside but how about since we've got such a big space around the outside why don't we also do a powered mine train around the outside as well so let's put it over here and we can maybe have two together to synchronize so that's two three four five six seven something for the future um actually let's move it back a little bit so it's not right up against the edge which it will be if i put it just there or at least the path will be okay and then we can just drop it down there whilst before we do that why don't we do the exit and entrances um i'm building some ramps on all the coasters so far that way it makes it um it's just an easy way of adding some decorations to the paths let's do the paths We'll do the paths now with the other videos i've been doing the paths last just to highlight how much excitement boost that they add but i figure people kind of get that get the idea of it by now um so with this we'll only be able to run one train okay but we're not paying for it really it's everything's free on this one there's no money so it doesn't really matter if there's only one train um before we do that let's get the staff done done just now and we'll put some benches down So I'm going to open the scenery screen up. So I was putting trees down. Don't want them. Cool. Right then. So. So we're just going to start off with some small sort of dips first of all because it needs to build up speed it's one of those coasters where it's because it's powered it'll start off slow then it'll gradually build up and build up but if you do two if you do a, a too steep a slope straight away then it's not going to have time to build up speed So it's a nice wide section here because I am, as I said earlier, I am thinking of doing a something like a hyper coaster around the outside. Who knows? By the end, maybe we'll have unlocked a giga coaster or something, and then 
maybe we could have one of them around the outside as well. So, how fast? Let's have a let's keep going a second. A nice long flat section here, which would probably good be good for getting some extra height. So I'm going to stagger. This so it doesn't lose all its. Speed. Eh, no, I don't like that. One issue we might run into is the amount of drops that we've already got um, and will continue to have could cause an issue. Drops will add to the intensity, even though they're not going to be big drops. It could cause, it could cause problems. So. I don't know. This might end up being a dreadful idea. One thing we can do, though, if one way of reducing drops is by adding helixes. As an easy way of decreasing and increasing height. I've got the best custom design rides. Well, yes, I thought so. A twist. I don't think we'll be adding a twist. Whose idea was it to build this ridiculously large coaster all around the outside? This is taking forever.
I've got absolutely no idea how uh, fast we might be able to get this course to. Put a large section here. I think it, it should go without saying that if it wasn't for the fact that this is a no money scenario, there is absolutely no way I would build a coaster like this, this large. Can we get a little, can we get a head chopper in there? Find a little interaction with our track as well. Ah, <laughs> just trying to get it to. I'm not sure if I'm if I'm just deleting and redoing the same thing over and over again. Um, that is a possibility. Right. I don't want to accidentally delete any scenery. Hmm. Okay, so since we're just going to do a straight section here, then let's bank it so it's like a trick track. And then we'll bank it the other way. And then we should be able to get it over the top. Running alongside this little bridge, but yeah, this little brake section of the junior course. So you never know. At some point, the timing might just mean that we get a perfect. Are there any brakes on this? There's no brakes on it. Oh, okay. Um, and our on-ride photo section. Why don't we put one just here where that flat piece is? So there's no brakes on this. 
So this is going to come screaming into the station. It's just as well that there's only one train. Uh, I'm annoying myself now. Um, got one more. So this is going to need to come up to 60. And we're done. Right, so even though there's only one train on the track, what we can do is we can save it that way. Obviously it can't crash, but when we test it, it's gonna take a while for it to test. Um, it's gonna take ages to get all the way around. And then if the results come back and it's absolutely rubbish, then we can then load the save back up and then we've gone back sort of in time now if this was a scenario where time is an issue that is a handy tip so it could be that you wait in a few weeks or a few months or whatever for the test to come back not that you would build a course like this if you were worried about time um and it just means that you're not wasting time because you can go back and make adjustments and things like that. 35 miles per hour. Wait, let's run it all fast for because we don't need to see all this. Is the come up to that bit by here where I added the that's not bad. It's not much of a of a loss of speed there and then it picks it back up over to the trick track section let's fast forward all the way through there and it plows into the station and what's it say 26 drops 8.5 excitement that is not bad at all what about what about if we call it mine blown now some of you might realize that is a sort of a play on an uh a roller coaster called mine blower which is in a fun spot park in orlando i'm actually going to florida in a couple of months and i'm looking at getting tickets to the fun spot parks which look pretty cool it's uh so it's 8.5 How high can we get this? Let's do. Um, and now there's our favorite little fence there. There you go. Mm. 
Yeah, so it won't be long now. I will be going to Florida to check out all the new rides that have uh, been added since the last time we went and check out the, maybe check out the fun spot parks. They look pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, the SeaWorld All You Can Eat deal. Going to get myself very fat that day. Cool. Eight point four. That's gone down. I'm sure that's gone down. I'm sure that was. I'm sure that was eight point five, and now all of a sudden it's eight point five eight. I'm not sure what I saw. Did I see? I thought I saw eight point four eight. I do not know. I'll look. I'll find out when I view it back. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so that's open. Um, it's going to take ages for it to come back round. We'll color that in. Give it a nice little purple track. Where is it? suppose I could just do that um, so where are we all the way over there miles away okay so we'll pretend it's in the station so I'll do my little closing and um, guests are all coming in and then we'll cut to it as if as if uh, it was there all along so this was scenario one episode six where we bought where we built a crazy huge um powered mine train hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe if you didn't well i don't know what can i do There's nothing i can do i mean if you don't like it if you don't like it my name's Stu. hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>